We are going through an industrial massacre. I don't exaggerate. Harlan and Wolf, the shipyard that built the Titanic, this week went into administration. Port Talbot, one of our last makers of primary steel in the country, closing down 2,000 jobs lost. Our last coal-fired power station closed down just yesterday. And Grangemouth, our biggest refinery in the country, that's closing down too. Any ideas why, folks? Let me tell you. Our electricity prices are 74% higher than the Americans, a third higher than our French competitors. And if you're in manufacturing, making stuff, right, you need lots and lots of energy. And expensive energy means you can't compete against anybody else. The push to net zero is literally deindustrializing Britain, taking away jobs, tens of thousands of jobs around the country from people who are doing jobs, well-paid jobs, that's all gone. And we're not reducing carbon emissions, we're just exporting carbon emissions to India and other places like that. Tata Steel saying the production in Port Talbot will be going to India. Can everyone not see the total madness? And I tell you what, the more wind turbines we build, the more expensive our electricity is. I repeat the point, we're living through an industrial massacre. And why are the Conservatives saying nothing? Because they started this whole process and Ed Miliband and Labour are going to continue it.